Considering that Mondays are my busiest day of the week, I don't want to be all stressed out <laughs> playing, uh, you know, whatever, Silver Surfer or some bullshit like that. But anyway, uh, let's get right into it here. So, I'm not quite as familiar with this one as I am with some of the other Mega Mans. Uh, I usually start out with Starman, because he's relatively easy to beat. This level's really cool. Uh, and I don't exactly remember the order. I think it's Starman kills Gravity Man, kills Gyro Man, kills Crystal Man. I, I mean, I don't know. We're, we'll find out. We'll just go along and not worry about boss order too much. I guess I'm just going to have some fun. This level's cool because it has this, like, low gravity type thing. This game also has both the, uh, the slide and the uh, charge shot, as you can see. This was after uh, Mega Man 4, which was the first one. And to my knowledge, this is also the most expensive of the uh, NES Man cards. For reasons that I don't understand exactly. I don't know if it was just because there was like not as many of them made or what the is. Um, but okay, so you see that M that we picked up. There's uh, in every level a letter you can pick up. It's that's kind of a hard jump. Um, and if you get uh, all of them, they spell out Mega Man 5. So obviously V being the, the eighth letter. Um, go ahead and... Oh, I was going to say damage boost that, but <laughs> that didn't quite end up working out. That was first. Um, and I don't recall off the top of my head what you get. Or, uh, spelling Mega Man 5 out. I think it's uh, kind of like in Mega Man 6 where you can get beat by gathering all the letters. It's like, it might be something along those lines. I guess we are going to find out. I guess that uh, uh, replace that life we just lost. Not quite as familiar with this one, so. Game's loving us right now. Jump really high on that just to make sure we make the jump, and also if we get knocked by the uh, guy launching shots at us, we don't uh, fall down. We have less of a chance of falling down into the spikes below. Thank <laughs> you. 
Starman, pretty easy. Just got one of these, like, shield things. here that I got from Hops and Bottles. Thanks, Megan. Pretty sweet. I really like that beer. So I had a, a gift from them, which was just two free pint glasses. And I went to redeem it, and that was one of the options. I think the other one was just a, like a regular Odell Brewing. Uh, mug. It was still pretty sweet. So the one thing I have to get used to again is that this has uh, regular like amounts of gravity versus the same group just on. But it does have this cool mechanic that uh, let's see. that uh, reverses the gravity though. So you kind of have to pay attention to controls like slide here, you push up. Kind of throws you off the first couple of times you do it. Somewhat difficult places to get to, as if anybody's gonna care enough to go for them. Alright, so this one's a little tricky. You gotta jump just a little, little bit to get over the gap and hit the um, the gravity change thing. Like that's not super hard to get, but why would you never go out of your way? You're still up like two lives, technically. Right, so I have to kill you now on principle. Was, yeah, why would you ever go out of your way to um, get the large weapon energy? It's like, I don't know what other people do when it comes to playing these kind of games, but I like barely ever use the weapons outside of, uh, of the uh, boss fights. I just don't see a reason for it. I mean, like, unless there's like a shield weapon among the options in the particular whole section you need to get through. Um, like a good representation of that would be like in Mega Man 2, one of the Wily levels where you're riding along on those platforms and all the met tools are coming in. Pretty sure gravity hold 
is the weapon we use against Gyro Man, so that's where I'm going to go next. And I think Gyro kills Crystal. That was sad. This level isn't too bad, but it does have one section towards the end that's a little wonky. You're riding up one of those elevators and a bunch of spikes that you have to dodge. for half my life and then gives me a little pellet. Oh, that's right, it's actually underneath one of these. Sir. Okay, very nice. Alright, so here's that section I was talking about. Generally, it's easier to try and jump up to these rather than wait until they're at the right level to walk. <laughs> I've certainly had times that I've played this game where I've struggled with that a little bit. I'm happy I was able to get through that on the first try. Here we are, right at the end. like super difficult to kill with uh, Mega Buster. Alright, so we'll try Crystal Man here. This guy's got a pretty cool color. Although those guys are somewhat annoying. We'll kill the headpiece and the whole enemy goes away, but otherwise you have to Dodge the bouncing head. These do have a pattern to them. I think. Maybe not. 
sure seems like they do, though. I guess maybe the, the idea is you just go as soon as it drops, but like as soon as you can afterward, you go. So these guys, the little crystals act as like shields, so you can't shoot them um, while they're charging them up. Quite a check mark. on those guys like I did the first time around. Shots, man. This one's the hardest one because you're so dang close to the tube that drops the These days I might have to uh, load Mega Maker back up and play some user created stuff. See what's going on there. I understand, I guess. It's like a lot different than other rush coils. Basically, it, it's like a platform that jumps up and then you can jump off the platform. So it's not like the traditional. Who's oh, that? Um, I'll go ahead and die because I want to grab that. drop a little bit more to the left. Oh, we're not even far away. Let's see. Alright, now there's no reason to go up there. Alright, so I gotta stay over a little bit. Damn. We have so many extra lives that I'm willing to throw a couple away here trying to get it. Two more. Alright, let's hope we get it this time because I really don't want to have to back to this. Let's go kill Crystal Mammals. Don't want to get hit by Pass this door. 
ball thing. And I think in the Wily levels there's a section or two where having a weapon that you can kind of guide upward like that, take out an enemy is going to come up. Cool. We don't have to go back to that level. Let's see, Crystal... Um... Stone takes out Charge Man. Napalm Man takes out Stone Man. I can't remember if Crystal... Uh, charge used against Wave Man, so that has to be Napalm Man. Speaking of Star Crash and Mega Maker, um, if you're not familiar with what Mega Maker is, it's basically it just gives you like all the assets, um, or a lot of the assets. There aren't 100% of them yet, but a lot of the assets from the uh, NES Mega Man games, and you can just go in and make their own levels. It's actually pretty sweet. That was not sweet. Guy just sitting there laughing at us. <laughs> what a jackass. Uh, and I've dabbled in it, I've made a handful of maps. I think the uh, files for them are on my uh, computer I was using prior to this one, so I unfortunately don't have them. Except for the ones that I uploaded, which were a, a fair amount of them, I guess. Our buddy here. sat there and just pelted them. All kinds of shit. Just invincible. Alright. So let's get Sly and see if we're right about this being. Ready 
for some Mega Smash. Alright, so yeah, this is, uh, whoa. This is the weapon against a man. man. Relax, dude. Oh, shit. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be far enough away. On the slide. I also thought that last shot was gonna kill him. Well, it kinda sucks if you don't hit him with the main shot when it splits up like that, because then you can't shoot another one. So, ideally, you gotta hit him with the main shot. Got him. Day. Pretty hard to paint last night. Hence me drinking water <laughs> today. start, say, um, a minute ago is so, um, let's see, how do I get this again? Oh. Um, in Mega Maker, yeah, um, some of the weapons have, like, different, uh, properties, so, like, the Star Crash actually gives you the look thing uh, that's present in Starman's level. So you can like use that to uh, generate like different platforming things that you normally would. I'm not gonna worry about that E-tank down there, it's such a pain in the ass to get. Waste of time. I mean 
it's certainly doable. Just a letter. Just a letter somewhere. Should have six at this point. Alright, one, two, three, five. No, maybe we did. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. Should have six at this point. Whatever. We'll, we'll go back to Stone Man's stage here in a little bit. See if we can figure out where the hell we went wrong. This has my vote for the best track in this game. if you are, like, if you're basically on it when you jump, like, if it's occupying the same space, so let's say it's right here, and you are right here as well, if you jump, then it will jump at the same time as you, it doesn't wait for you to, like, land on it, essentially, I think that's why people get screwed on it sometimes. One had to get a shot at somewhere, I guess. These assholes. Killed your brothers in Napalm Man stage, I'll kill you too. Alright, so you're gonna see why this weapon sucks ass. Well, I guess I can show you. So basically, it, like, spins out further and further, so it just gets, like, harder to hit the farther away it, it goes. It's just 
like really hard to hit anything with it. And it's not like it creates a hitbox around those things. Like the individual sprites have to actually touch him. Just die, I guess. <laughs> Dude, I play these games because I love them. I don't play games because I'm just like, you know, punching the clock or whatever. But yeah, I, I try to at least know what the hell I'm doing in these games to some degree. Plus, like, I think as a viewer, in my opinion anyway, get off of me. Um, it makes it more interesting when. Oh, what? Fuck this. Use the buster. Uh, when the person you're watching would, like, give you some useful commentary, you know? Alright, fuck the Power Stone, we're just gonna use the Mega Buster. It's like, if I just want to watch somebody play Mega Man, I'll just play Mega Man myself. There's gotta be, like, a reason. I think that's why people like speedruns so much, is because it's like, giving them something that they're not accustomed to having. Uh, like the ability to do themselves, or like little tips that, that they might not know about. You know, I I didn't really understand speedruns for a long time. And I, to a degree, I still think some of that is like kind of just, you know, whatever. Yeah, much better than the Power Stone. Yeah. Um, at this point, I enjoy them. But I do think there's still merit to being able to play a game front to back. Like, not using glitches and hacks. or Not hacks, but glitches and cheats and things of those nature. Things of that nature. I, I can't talk to that. <laughs> um... Okay, so we got the letter in Charge Man stage. Wait, man. So the Charge Kick is also a pretty shitty weapon. So you basically... I mean, you'll see. When we use Charge Kick on Wave Man, we're gonna get hit, like, almost every other time we use it. Gotta watch out for... Water spray that's right there. I don't know what the hell you want to call that. Those ones will definitely hit you the first time you play this level if you've never played this game before. Yeah. Because, I mean, you're not going to see those your first time. You wouldn't even be able to look for them. And even if you did, um, you wouldn't really think anything of it. You're just like, oh, it's just a crack in the ground. these bubbles. But, yeah, all that being said, I, there is still a lot of impressive elements to watching people oh, shit. Uh, to watching people speedrun games. Especially when you yourself have played those games and know how difficult they can be. Like, watching TMR play uh, Battletoads is always a treat. So he just cruises right through it. And, uh, I've seen him do, like, the Turbo Tunnel blindfolded. Like, it's, like, the entire Turbo Tunnel, not just that last section. I mean, I know it pretty well, but I am definitely not on the same level as he is. I don't know that basically anybody is. Alright, so this letter is a little bit tricky. We're gonna be, like, trying to dodge stuff jumping, and it's gonna go by really quick. We have to jump again, and so I'm hoping that we don't miss it. I think after this is a checkpoint. Basically, if we miss it and have to come back to the level. Um, and it's after this, like, octopus thing. Whatever you want to call this guy. 
Um, if we miss it, then that means we're gonna have to basically play the first half of the level all over again. So charge kick, uh, basically when you dash, you have like a little blade or whatever. Like your your foot is the, the weapon, essentially. But because you're like you see what I'm talking about. Uh, the idea is that you can like charge through it. But he always has like either a water geyser or his little trident. So it's like you always get hit. Or almost always, it seems like. Okay, anyway, so we got through him all right there. Water wave. <laughs> That's kind of redundant. Alright, so let's go back into Stone Man's level, and I want to see if we can figure out where the hell that letter is, because we're short the G. I know it was on this level, because we got him in every single other one. Nice. So, where is the G? You're gonna want that G. Yo, Stone Man, can I get a G? I listened to that NWA song with Dope Man yesterday. <laughs> While I was in the shower, so I think that's just what that makes me think of. Yeah, wind breeze and fire flame. All that other shit. Alright, where is 
is this chain? I'll show you what I was talking about earlier. So we're sharing the same space here. If you jump, it goes up. If you jump on it, then you can jump off of it. I was checking to see if maybe the game designers were being like super shady and putting it like behind the life bar right there. <laughs> Seems like it'd be a pretty good spot to place to pick up to so like see it very easily. Alright, so there's an E tank there. That's not the thing I'm looking for. Sometimes I can land a cool shot. Is it like out here or something? Fuck all these things. Just went through the whole level again. I don't want to fuck around with this all day. Five. <laughs> I just typed in Mega Man 5 letter, and it. Before I even completed the word letter, the second result was letter G. Apparently, that's. <laughs> uh, apparently, that's uh, a thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can tell my brain is having trouble being a brain, because I didn't even, like, understand what it was that you were getting at right there. Oh, right. Okay. God damn it. So, this is the only letter out of the entire... Uh, the entire eight robot masters that's not blatantly on the screen. No wonder there's a video on it, you'll see here in a second. Well, at least we can stock up on all these extra lives. Just right here. See, okay, these two blocks right here, they're like sort of discolored. But you would never think about that. Like, they're, they have a different texture if you look at the rest of the blocks that are on the screen. You would never think of that, though, when you're just casually walking by it. Fucking stupid. Okay, so we do get beat. There it is. Let's try it out, because I honestly don't remember exactly what it is. Okay, so they just, just goes and attacks all the enemies that are on the screen. Alright, well now we need to get all the way through this goddamn level. That would be something worth remembering about this game, you know? Like I was saying earlier, I don't remember as much about this game as I do others. That would be one of the things I would want to remember. Already played this level three times. Whatever, man. Counting. Who cares? Yeah. 
They're like, alright, we're gonna throw one in like this and like have people like smashing their head against the wall trying to figure out where to go to get it. How dare they do something like that? <laughs> they should make all of them easy to find. Not a challenge of any kind. Out here. I guess I could technically go pick that up, but whatever. Man. So you just like get the rush jet and ride it over there, but whatever. We'll just get one from uh, Eddie, that's fine. Who needs that one sitting on a ledge over there for no real reason? we get into the Proto Man stages, I'm gonna go refill my water, so give me just uh, a minute or so. I shall return. Beat this game. Okay, back again. Got my 90 shilling glass filled with water again. Alright, let's do this. Know Your Bad Guy has a classic case of narcissism when his building basically looks like his head. Gotta be careful approaching uh, gaps in Mega Man games, because sometimes you have those enemies that just kind of jump out. Oh. 
bit strange. It doesn't, uh... Fill the rush coil stuff between levels. I was unaware of that. Actually, use rush coil. Takes a lot of weapons. Out of Jesus Christ, I'm getting like Royal Air Force carpet bomb here. That's a World War II reference for uh, anyone that's curious. Basically, between the Allies, the Royal Air Force's approach to uh, bombing was to carpet bomb everything, and the U.S. Air Force, strategic bombing. Oh shit, right. I was kind of worried that might happen. Alright, alright, we won't cheat. Alright, just kind of watching these just to make sure I know exactly how I'm going to do this. There's no weapon energy like Equalizer, like there is in uh, some of the other Mega Man games. Oh, right, this... I forgot, this uh, Mega Man just has like all the... Got me to, he, he's like looking around for me. Where'd he go? He fucking killed me, buddy. That's where I went. Stupid. <laughs> I 
feel that one coming on. Charge, wait for him to shoot. There we go. Also, make sure you're not too far up the ladder. I do actually want that one. Arrow, but not a big deal, I suppose. This is what I want. Yeah, okay. This one for the E tank. Life. Oh. already. Plus I'll just get one right there. I guess that's a Mega Man 5 rule. Whenever you express your ambivalence over a power-up, they'll just provide another one on the next screen. So these tigers basically don't jump until you shoot. So they put these little, like, red bastards there to, like, entice you to shoot. So that the tiger will jump on you. Sneaky. Alright, is this the shield one? Like how when you jump over him, he's like, wait a minute. <laughs> and like sits there, trying to figure out what the hell just happened.
It's funny, you can tell when, like, one of the guys had, like, an idea. Because they'll just, like, make a whole room out of that kind of stuff. Alright, so there's all of those guys. There's one more. Um, it's basically just like a an amalgamation of all of their abilities in one. But he's not that hard. That's not Proto Man. This is Proto Man. Right, so this is that guy. Oh, 
shield actually blocks it. Just appears. I was going to say, is he going to do his little eyebrow waggle? Because he didn't do it until just then. Alright. Let's get him. Last few levels here. I like the last two right there, just little beep beep right next to each other. This level has some really good music, too. Son of a bitch! Get 
but I mean, like, <laughs> what's the purpose of having, like, a series of rooms like that in your universe or whatever? If, uh, you know, do science things, why do you need a room that, like, crushes? sure you can only get one hit in per, like, rotation that way. It like, closes his eyes and shit. Wiley, you got a rodent problem, buddy. Got bats and rats all over in your fortress. He can get away with it, I guess. I'm not gonna waste my time. Oh my god. 
god, why? So you have to basically start it back as far as you can. I'm gonna make that jump. I'm sure do love their big dumbass robot guy. I love killing him. we have so many of them. I'm just gonna break through things here. I think you're supposed to use a crystal here. every boss. Mega Buster. Alright. Kinda tricky, but not too bad. That can be annoying sometimes, uh, because his, like, little shot will basically disrupt the shield. Start. So we 
compared to anyone else that... <laughs> well, you need a star man with water. Send it. I hang out towards the middle here just in case I have to like jump spike myself a little just amount of room that I need to travel over and do that. Like sometimes he'll occupy all one side or the other. So in order to not get hit by any like crossover spike. Thank <laughs> you. 
Except that we're not going to be able to hit him on every cycle. I think this might be like a good fight to have a uh, power stone for, right? Because it like flies all over the screen. Not only does it not do any damage, like no meaningful damage, which is still fucking impossible. now we can use gyro just in case like he goes up high Boom. like that So there you have it, Mega Man 5. Certainly a little bit harder than Mega Man 6, I will say. Ugh, and I only bring that up because that's the only other NES Mega Man that I've played on the channel so far. I guess we're working our way backwards through them. Good 
good old Mega Man 5. Alright, so what's next? We got Mega Man 4. Play through that as well. But I don't know that I'm going to do it right this moment. I was kind of thinking I might go back to back, but I didn't anticipate this taking me Freaking NES Mega Man games just have banging soundtracks. I wish that were the case with all the Mega Man games. Like, Seven's got a really good soundtrack. I'll, I'll give Seven that. It's definitely different, of course. Everything about that game is a departure. Mega Man 8, I think, is, like, inarguably the worst of the mainline Mega Man games. That's the worst soundtrack. But they fixed it up with Mega Man 9 and 10. Mega Man 11, I have played through and completed. Uh, it's fine. I don't hate it. But I would take any of these NES Mega Mans over it any day. many people have worked on this game. Holy shit. Like 10, maybe? Okay, well, um, even though I did start a little bit late, I think I'm gonna call this first stream um, for the moment. Still kinda brushing the cobwebs and stuff like that. Uh, it's like I was saying earlier, I went pretty hard in the paint <laughs> uh, last night, so I'm feeling it a little bit. It's my slightly lower energy. Um, but appreciate anybody uh, that dropped by to say hey or hang out for a little while. Um, I'll upload this on YouTube so that we have uh, a record of it. I think I'm going to do that with all of the Mega Man games. Basically, do with most of my streams as it is, so whatever. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get on out of here. I'll be back at 8 o'clock, and we're gonna try to get some Renegade X in. I have the servers list pulled up here, and it looks like they're still going strong. They're not 100% full, so hopefully, there'll be something similar like this and pop into the NA uh, server. I... But yeah, if you wanna join me for that, Definitely love to have you. If you're not already following me here, I'd also appreciate the support. Um, follow me on Twitter. The best way to know that I'm going to be going live is at Canman87Gaming. And uh, YouTube channel is YouTube.com slash Canman87. So I'll get out of here for now. And I'll see you later. Have a good rest of your day. Good rest of your weekend. See you next time.